Today, I'm going to show you how to install a light bar on a zero turn mower and also a nice little switch to go along with it. This will be on my Ferris ISX 800. I got this sweet light bar off of Amazon. It's made by a company called Turbo SII. Came with this nice little switch, the 12 inch light bar itself, which looks pretty good. Some mounting brackets, a bag of bolts, and some handy instructions. Let's install it. Fortunately, on my Ferris model, there are already some holes that are pre-drilled for a light. So that's where I'm gonna mount this today. Should look something like this when I get done. Also, luckily, on my control panel, there's already a spot for the switch. So that should fit in there just right. Now, let's go ahead and mount the brackets. This should be pretty easy to do as it's just a bolt, a washer, a locking washer, and a nut. You just have to make sure that you've got them in the right orientation. After they're in the right orientation, you can simply just mount the light directly to the mounts themselves. This takes several bolts and then also tightening with an Allen key. Before I fully tighten them down, I use a level to make sure the light is perfectly level. Might as well do it now, so it's done right the first time. Let's take off this access panel so it's easier to wire. And now we can take off the actual control panel so we can put in our switch. This control panel comes off really easy with just a couple of screws. It looks like my key switch might have an accessory option, but I'm not going to use that this time. Popped out the little plastic piece for the switch, and now all we have to do is run the wire through it and pop it in place. It's that easy. Okay, now the wiring harness has a little junction box that all the wires run into. You're going to need to mount this. On my mower, there was a fuse that was already mounted to the control panel with a nut and a bolt. I just loosened that and mounted it right to that place. Here you can see that piece I was talking about. Looks like it worked perfect. Okay, now that we've got that in place, let's take the switch wire and connect it into the wiring harness and run all the cables down through into the control panel. I like to zip tie everything up nice and neat. Extra zip ties, just because they're not very expensive and they make everything look better. All right, since we're done with the control panel, let's go ahead and put those bolts back in just so we don't forget about them. All right, let's go ahead and run this wire up to the front of the mower, finding the best place where there's no pinch points and this wire won't cause any issues. This light is that the wiring harness came with nice ends, but the light didn't come with nice ends. It was just bare wire. So I decided to strip the wires apart and then twist them together and use some heat shrink to make it a nice tight fit.
If you want to use heat shrink and you don't have a heat gun, you can simply use an aim and flame or a lighter and it'll get the job done. Just make sure you don't overheat it. Last but not least, let's connect the wires up to the battery. Once we get this done, we should be ready to test the light to make sure that it works properly before we tighten everything up with zip ties. All right, moment of truth. Will it work? Well, let's test it out. There you go. Woo, we got light. Now, let's just clean everything up. Let's put zip ties just about anywhere that there's a turn or a long straightaway. The cleaner you make this look, the better it'll be. Just take your time, do it right the first time. All right, let's take a look at it. I really like this switch. It's got a blue light indicator on it just to make it look nice. And man, that light looks really slick on this mower. I think I picked the right size. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this light install. Check out this shot. Ooh, nice. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Give this a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to check me out on all my social media. And also, my podcast, lunchtimetechtalk.com, and we'll see you guys later.